Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Hello friends, welcome back to the part 6 of fortification of LSE. As you might be aware that India and China has completed the disengagement at patrolling point 15 in Gogra hot springs area along the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh. Both sides have also verified the disengagement and dismantling of temporary and allied infrastructure that had come up in the area after the standoff along the line of actual control. While there is one less problem to be worried about, China still cannot be trusted and the armed forces still need to be vigilant and be better prepared. With this note, let's try to bring back our discussion to the eastern part of LSE and we'll be continuing our discussion from the part 4. We all know that the key to preparedness along the LSE is surveillance of the border areas. With help of UAVs, as continuous physical surveillance along the mountainous terrain is not possible. There is a famous saying, mountains eat up men. And who can understand this better than Indian Army, having their boots on the ground 24 by 7 to safeguard our borders from aggressive and treacherous neighbors. The tough terrain in these areas pose real challenge in patrolling by ground troops. Further, human movements are always limited by endurance, availability and accessibility. To overcome this, Army has set up a Division Surveillance Center at Rupa Arunachal Pradesh which is receiving real-time image and inputs of PLA movements along the line of actual control from multiple sources like UAVs, heliborne sensors, ground radars and satellite feed for collation and analysis leading to a quick response. The long surveillance drones in the Eastern Command has been now brought under the Army's Aviation Corps from the artillery as part of integrated sensor to fire focus. This change was initiated last year and has been done across the Army in phased manner. This will ensure that all flying assets of Army remain as a single cohesive unit. Indian Army is now looking to create a separate cadre for operating its UAV which will further help in reducing the load on helicopter pilots. The proposal is now with the Army Headquarters and once it is cleared, it will be sent to Ministry of Defense for the final approval. Initially, drones were mainly used for target sightings and hence it was under the artillery. But now drones are used for wide range of operation and primarily surveillance. This also helps Army to understand the pattern followed by PLA at some of their bunkers and posts and the number of vehicles and soldiers, time gap in movement and identify any heightened activity. And the armed forces are operating close to 90 Israel Heron MQ-1 drones with nearly 30 of them being operated by Indian Army. Army has more than doubled the sorties of these drones in day and night since the standoff with China. Last year, Indian Army has contracted for four Heron MK-2 UAV with Israel. Two of them has already been deployed in Ladakh and the other two will be deployed in the eastern sector of LSE by this month. As per Israel Aerospace, New Heron MK2 is male UAV which can reach an altitude of 35,000 feet with a speed of 140 knots and remain in air for 45 consecutive hours. It is equipped with satellite communication for beyond line of sight ranges. The armed forces have also raised the squadron of indigenously designed and developed advanced light helicopter ALH Thruv for quick mobilization of troops. The army has also raised its first dedicated squadron of Rudra armed helicopters. Rudra is the first army's aviation aircraft to add teeth to the fleet of army's aviation with its Mistral air to missile, 70mm rockets, 20mm guns and anti-tank guided missiles. The LH WSI or Ruth is a force multiplier for the field force commander with its potent weapon on board. This helicopter will be able to storm the enemy forces and hunt them down when required. Besides drone, the live satellite imagery and feed received by surveillance center which was set up in 2021 is proving to be very helpful in keeping an eye over the PLA movements in real time. The use of artificial intelligence has further improved the capability of army to identify every PLA soldier caught on the camera. Major Bhavesh Sarma of Signals Corps has developed a facial recognition software. 
This algorithm is being trained against a huge database of pictures and videos of PLA Army captured by Indian Army over the period of 5 to 6 years. This algorithm matches and compares the live feed from cameras and other sensors. Earlier, it used to take several weeks to identify a PLA soldier, but now it takes less than a minute. The use of advanced technology has enabled Army to fulfill holistic picture and now the troops on the ground are aware of the movement of PLA. It has enabled them to not only keep track of movement of the PLA along the LSE, but also within the Chinese territory. The integrated surveillance center under the four core is manned by officers and men from both Army and Air Force. They keep track of various points along the LSE, soldiers and vehicle movement deeper into the enemy territory on a 24 by 7 basis. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.